Hi, I'm Lisa of Lisa's English Storytime. I'm here to read you a story. Today we have the story of the scaredy cat. Stanley is a cat who's scared of everything. So a dark house full of strange noises is the last place he wants to be. But Stanley must face his fears to save the day. Let's read the story. The Scaredy Cat. There was once a cat who lived in a big town. His name was Stanley, but everyone called him Scaredy Cat. Morning, Scaredy Cat. Yikes! Because he was scared of everything. He was scared of planes. Whoa! And trains. Wah! Scaredy Cat. He was scared of boys. Help! And noise. Yelp! Scaredy Cat. He was scared of heights. Help! And kites. Whoa! Scaredy Cat. He was scared of frogs. Ribbit. Eek! And dogs. Woof! Arg! Scaredy Cat. Stanley was the biggest scaredy cat in town. One night, Stanley went for a walk with his friends, Tabby and Snowy. Tabby and Snowy. Something small and furry ran past. A mouse. Let's chase it, said Tabby. Let's not, cried Stanley. Don't let it get me. The mouse ran into a house. It looks like no one is home, said Snowy. How can we catch that mouse? Here's a cat flap, said Tabby. Let's go in. What if the house is haunted, said Stanley. He shivered. Scaredy cat. But he followed his friends inside. Now where's that mouse, said Tabby. Look out. Suddenly the mouse ran across the hall and down to the cellar. This way, said Snowy. Come on. Snowy and Tabby raced downstairs. Oh, it's too dark down there, said Stanley. I'll stay here. Scaredy cat. Now Stanley was all alone. He felt really scared. M -m Maybe I should have gone with them after all, he thought. Just then, Stanley felt a bump. <gasps> Something was in the lounge. W -w what was that, he wondered. It went bang, bang, bang. It's a giant! Come quickly, Snowy, called Stanley. There's a giant in the lounge. A Snowy raced up the stairs. A giant, he cried. Are you sure? He is coming to get us. Snowy crept into the lounge. It's just a window banging, Snowy said. Well, it could have been a giant, said Stanley. You're such a scaredy cat, said Snowy. I've got a mouse to catch. Snowy ran back downstairs. Just then, Stanley heard a noise. Something was in the bathroom. What was that, he wondered. It went, whoo, whoo, whoo. It's a ghost. Come quickly, Tabby, called Stanley. There's a ghost in the bathroom. Tabby raced upstairs. A ghost, he cried. Are you sure? It's coming to get us. Tabby crept into the bathroom. It's only the wind, Tabby said. Whoo. Well, it might have been a ghost, said Stanley. You're such a scaredy cat, said Tabby. I've got a mouse to catch. Tabby ran back downstairs. Just then, Stanley saw a lump behind the curtains. Well, what's that, he wondered. It went grunt, grunt, grunt. It's a monster! Come quickly, Snowy, yelled Stanley. There's a monster in the lounge. I don't believe you, called out Snowy. It's coming to get us. The monster came closer. Come quickly, Tabby, yelled Stanley. There really is a monster in the lounge. It's coming to get us. I don't believe you, called out Tabby. The monster came closer still. It came closer and closer. Now it was right on top of Stanley. Stanley tried to run, but he was frozen to the spot with fear. <gasps> it's coming to get me. The monster tripped over Stanley. Wah! It got tangled in the curtain, spun around and around, whoa, and fell. 
with a thud on the floor. Snowy and Tabby came upstairs. Hey, what happened? The lady who lived in the house came home. Hey, what happened? A head came through the curtains. Oh, uh, hey, what happened? But it wasn't a monster. The lady stroked Stanley. Looks like you just caught a burglar, kitty cat. <gasps> I did? For the first time in his life, Stanley felt brave. The lady gave Stanley a special reward for catching the burglar. You're a hero. Well done, Stanley. From then on, Stanley wasn't afraid of anything. And no one called him a scaredy cat ever again. And that's the story of the scaredy cat. I hope you liked it. Click subscribe and hit like for us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.